My select play select viewers, welcome to another episode of Play Select. My name is Gold Mountain, and in this episode, man, we got this huge news about the Castlevania producer. We have Nintendo being a good guy again. As well, we have a really cool Japanese game that I think you guys should pay attention to. <laughs> So what was supposed to be a launch title for the Japanese PS4, you know, it came out in February. Well, it's been pushed to April 2014, and this game from Kadokawa Games is called Natural Doctrine. That's right, this game is really cool. I've been looking at this, following it, and I'm really excited, and I'll tell you why. Because the first one is that it's a strategy RPG, a tactical RPG. I really love games like that. And two, it is highly reminiscent of the classic PS3 launch title around that time, Valkyra Chronicles, all right? Now, if I said Valkyra Chronicles, and you're like, oh, yeah, if you look at the eight minute trailer, the gameplay trailer that was just released today, well hey, you're gonna be so excited just like me. Now the game is directed by Atsushi Lee, who you may know from Patapon, that cult classic PSP rhythm battle game that was really fun. And also it's designed by the artist of Fate Zero, which is Atsushi Ikaria. And finally the music is composed by Noriyuki Asakura, who is the guy who composed the music for Ruo Uni Kenshin. So that's a really star-studded lineup, I mean it sounds pretty good. And I mean from what I've seen so far, okay, well one, there's multiplayer, you can play as different classes, medieval classes, you can play as all the monsters that you see in medieval tropes normally, but also you'll be in this really enclosed castle where positioning really matters, just like Valkyria Chronicles, there's all these lines of sights that you can see in the gameplay, and it looks like a lot of fun. Now this game may be a game you're like, okay, maybe I should import it, but I found out some news that it may be coming out to the West because Kadokawa Games did try to register for a trademark for the name. They failed because somebody took the name Doctrine or something like that. But anyways, they're gonna try again, hopefully, and you'll see this in the West because it is a beautiful game for the PS3, the Vita, as well as the PS4. So yeah, something to look forward to for you importers or not. Koji Igarashi, otherwise known as Iga, you may have seen his name Iga in a lot of Konami games that you play when you beat it in the credits. Well, he is the producer of Castlevania and he has stepped down from Konami, so he is no longer doing that anymore. That's huge. Now, why did he do that? Well, he quotes to IGN, I've decided to break out of my own to have the freedom to make the kind of games I really want to make, the same kind I think fans of my past games will want as well. Now if you didn't know, Igarashi-san was pretty much one of the guys who was heavily invested in creating the wonderful modern day masterpiece, Castlevania Symphony of the Night, as well as every single subsequent GVA and DS Castlevania game. Now that's really cool, he's opening his own studio, so I really hope that he's gonna be making more games like this because I'm one of his fans of this type of genre and I would love to see more of these games, you know, because no more Lords of Shadows too. Yeah, I said it, I said it. So this news is good news for Smash fans, Evo fans, and Nintendo fans because finally, they seem to all have come into a big agreement because you know, back in Evo 2013, the biggest fighting game tournament of the world, Nintendo was like, oh, I don't want you to be streaming our Smash Brothers Melee footage and it was really weird and there's all this drama and eventually they let them do it. Well this time, months before EVO 2014, which is happening in July, Nintendo approves. So you will be getting Smash Brothers Melee streaming and footage on EVO 2014, which is dope because if you've seen the hours and the work that people have put in Smash Brothers, these guys are really good. I'm not lying. And also Nintendo, you know, I don't understand what you guys are doing. I mean, come on, like why you have to make such a good fighting game. If you didn't want people to come up, I mean, because the conjecture says that Nintendo was worried that a fighting game being in a fighting tournament would ruin their friendly family image, just don't make such a good game. <laughs> So later in this year, probably in the summer, Warner Brothers is starting a brand new thing called Warner Brothers Vault, which is pretty much taking the old IPs from Warner Brothers as well as Midway, yes, Midway. So the game that they're debuting, this whole Warner Brothers Vault, guess what it is? It is Gauntlet, that's right, the old school arcade cash coin eat em up, beat em up, that you know, you're just fighting with your brother <laughs> and just splitting up friendships and seeing who wants to not be the Valkyrie or the elf because everyone knows the warrior and the wizard is the best. And speaking of those characters, they are coming back, right? All four of them, and it's gonna be a modernized remake and it's only for the PC and Steam so far, but you know, it's nice to see a game like this come back out because you know, everybody needs food. Everyone needs sustenance. I mean, I'm excited to play this game. Like all the memories of raging out back in the day, just watching your life just plummet away as you're just popping in coins that your mom gives you. 
Yeah, well, at least you don't have to do that no more. Anyways, Gauntlet is coming out in the summer, and it's gonna be one of the first games of that lineup. Now, speaking of old Midway IPs, the game that I really wanna see remade is Smash TV, because hey, big money, big prizes, I love it. <laughs> I love that game, man, shit. Time to announce the winner of last episode's prize time. Oh. I'll smite a roast beef. I'll smite a roast beef. I'll, 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 it smite roast, whatever you're, uh, I'm, not, I'm not gonna make you speak Chinese, man. That's just mean, dude. Anyways, you just win yourself a copy of South Park Stick of Truth with your really hard name to say. And you gave me the name Archie Bunker, which was what I was looking for because Cartman was based on Archie Bunker. So congrats and enjoy for the PS3. It's that moment you've been waiting for. Prize time. time! Favorite moment of the week where I give you free stuff. Now, prize time works like this. Very, very simple. Give you a question, give me an answer, and if you get it right, I'm gonna get you some swag. Now, ground rules. If you know the answer to my question, please put it in our inbox, not the comments. The inbox, not the comments. And that's it. You can't specify whether or not you want this for the Vita or the PS3 because I only got the PS3 copy of J-Star Victory VS. That's right, I mean, there's way too many people buying it right now and I gotta allocate it to them. So unfortunately, I can only give you this copy. So the question of this week is very, very simple. It's like this. Please name the name of that weird naked baby in J-Star Victory VS. That guy is so weird. So there you have it. My name is Gold Mountain. Thank you guys so much for watching another episode of Play Select. Very nice prize girl, and I'll see you guys next episode. Peace outside, and subscribe.